Hi everyone, my name is Edith and today I'll be going over CardPoint's hosted payment page option. Once you sign in, you'll see that it looks very similar to CardPoint's layout. You've got a design tab, a connect tab, and a payments tab at the top. Design, of course, is how you can edit the look of your payment page. You can see here we've got our business logo at the top, as well as a text box for our refund policy, and a custom field asking for an invoice number. Over on the left here are all of the customized options, such as those that you can add. If you'd like to add something, you simply click and drag it to the page in the position that you'd like it to appear. You can edit them and uh, delete them as you wish by choosing these two options on the right side. Under design settings, you can edit the color of the background and the text, as well as the font and the size. Make sure that you're always hitting save when you make one of these changes. Under the Connect tab, you'll find the option to add a pre-filled payment request. Make sure that on the left, you're having Send Payment Request highlighted. It'll ask you to enter the email address, the amount, the customer name, and you can fill out any of those custom fields you have as well. We'll go ahead and do a test so that you can see what it looks like on the customer side when they receive one of those requests. Once you've filled out all the information, you'll select Send Email Invoice at the bottom, and up at the top it'll let you know it was successful. This option is if you want to send a pre-filled payment request. You can also simply send the link itself directly by text or email to a customer, or you can even add a button to your website that requests payment. We can provide HTML script to make that easy for you. It's up to whatever is most convenient for your business. Once the customer gets the email, you'll see it's referencing your company. It'll have all of the information that we filled out there, so the customer's name, the payment amount, and the custom field for invoice number that we submitted earlier. Once the customer selects Pay Now, it'll direct them to a payment link where the information is pre-filled as well. So all they need to do is enter their card information, billing information, complete the CAPTCHA, and hit Submit Payment at the bottom. We can do a quick test with one of our test cards here. This one will give us a declined response, but you can see when the customer is submitting payment, it is immediate. You'll receive an email uh, confirmation once a payment has been successfully submitted on your page. And the customer will also receive an email confirmation that they've successfully done a page as well. There we go. And here's the declined response that we're receiving. The customer can go back and edit their payment information as they wish. I was able to do a successful test earlier. This is what the email will look like that both you and the customer receive. So they'll be referencing the customer's name, the payment that they made, as well as any of those custom fields they filled out. Those will show up in the bottom. And finally, under the Payments tab, of course, this is where you can see the payment history specifically for the payment page. So this is the test that I ran earlier. It's since been voided. You can do that by hitting this uh, pencil key on the right. You can also see all of these payments show up in CardPoint under the Reporting tab of your virtual terminal. Everything works together and it's all reported real time. So you'll be able to see that payment information as soon as your customer submits it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and comment on the videos and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.